Hi everyone, welcome to Bad Weather Barbecue. I'm Johnny and it's Meat Free Monday, so that means that we're gonna do Bad Weather Barbecue's very first vegetarian cook. Today, we're doing vegetarian stuffed butternut squash. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the channel where we talk all things barbecue. Before we crack into today's recipe, I just wanted to acknowledge that this is the first video that I've posted up for about three weeks now. Since the 29th of May this year, I've actually posted up 31 videos and I just felt it was time just to have a little break from YouTube. For those of you who don't make YouTube videos, let me tell you, there's a lot of work that goes into making these from planning and writing your scripts through to recording and then into editing and actually posting up on YouTube. So I just felt it was time just to have a little bit of a break. Pleasingly though, I've put this time to good use. I've spent some time with the family, but I've also been working on a lot of recipes that I need in order to pass the college course that I'm undertaking at the moment. But don't worry, I'm back now and we're ready to rock. Right, so let's get into this. If like me, you've been feeling a little bit autumnal recently, You've perhaps been noticing that the colours of the leaves have been changing, the days have been getting shorter, and perhaps you've even been craving those home comfort foods. Well, I certainly have, and that's got me thinking. What could I do utilising some in-season ingredients to make Bad Weather Barbecue's very first vegetarian cook? As we all know, squash is in season at the moment, and in this house, we're big fans of butternut squash. Therefore, what I wanted to walk you guys through today was Bad Weather Barbecue's very first vegetarian cook, which is vegetarian stuffed butternut squash. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cooking our squash out in the grill, and we're gonna be adding a vegetarian taco filling to that made from corn mince and seasoning. We're gonna to be topping it though with feta cheese and fresh coriander. On the sides, however, we are gonna be serving this with my very own fresh guacamole, which I'm not gonna be showing you how to do in this one. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Some fresh salsa, but also some refried beans. In terms of the filling for our taco mix, I'm gonna be using this mince. Uh, this is something I've used a long, long time ago, um, so I am familiar with it. Uh, it's corn mints, uh, high in protein, very good for you, and of course, vegetarian. So that's what I'm gonna be using as the basis for my filler today. Now, uh, I'm assuming that everybody's more than well aware on how you make uh, a sort of taco filling. So uh, you'll be seeing some pictures up here on screen of me doing that just now. So I'm not gonna walk you through that. Um, but I will leave uh, a little bit of a description uh, on how to do this under the video, so check that out. In terms of my top three tips for making this cook a success, uh, please stick around to the end of the video for those. Right, without any further ado, let's crack into the kitchen and let's get onto those squash. So here we are in the kitchen now and we've got our two butternut squash. Well, all I've done is I've washed them, I've topped them, I've cut them in half and then I've de-seeded them. So all that we're gonna do before we put them on the barbecue is just lightly brush them with oil and then add a little bit of seasoning to them. So come and have a look. So what, we he what we've got here is our olive oil, which we're just gonna brush onto the squash, like so. And that will be sufficient. And then we've got some of our a little bit of our seasoning, which we will just sprinkle on. And as I say, that'll just sort of intensify as uh, the cooking happens on the barbecue. Right, so we're outside at the grill now and we've got the grill set up for indirect cooking. I'm gonna be cooking today on the Weber kettle uh, and I've got my baskets in place and we've got the squash ready to go. In terms of temperatures today, uh, within the kettle itself, we're gonna be looking at about 180 degrees. So it's very similar as if you were cooking these in your oven inside. That's what we're looking at. So 180 to 200 degrees, something like that. In terms of the temperature of the squash, well, we're just really looking for tenderness. They usually take about an hour to an hour and a half. So we'll keep checking these as we go, but what we're gonna look for is, as I say, it's all about tenderness with these. So they'll take as long as they take and we'll just keep checking them as we go. go. 
So that's been about an hour and a half out in the grill. We've maintained a temperature of pretty much 200 degrees the whole way through. And what's happened now is the butternut squash has got really, really tender. So I brought them in and what I've actually done is I've already stuffed them. So as you'll see here, I've got two, the two sides of the squash uh, stuffed with my corn taco mince. I've got some lovely feta cheese on the top with some fresh coriander. And I'm serving this today with some fresh guacamole, some fresh salsa, and some refried beans. So there you have it, vegetarian stuffed butternut squash. And let me tell you, these were absolutely fantastic. As a meat eater, I thoroughly enjoyed this. The butternut squash were super tender and the flavor from the squash, the spices, and the sides worked really, really well together. And for all my family and friends to prove that I actually ate this, here is a short video of me tucking into the dish and absolutely loving it. Just in case anybody is wondering, the feta cheese is vegetarian. So here's a short photograph to prove that, that you can indeed get vegetarian friendly feta cheese. Earlier in the video, I said I would give you my three top tips for making this cook a success. So here we go. Number one, and this is really important, make sure you offset your barbecue to make sure that you don't burn the undersides of your squash. Number two, remember to season your squash. This is a great way of getting some additional flavors into the squash when it's cooking. Number three, make sure you serve your squash with a mixture of sides to improve the overall flavor profile of the dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I can absolutely go on record as saying it was a joy to make and an even bigger joy to eat. The last thing from me is to ask for a little bit of help from my viewers. The channel's been growing a little bit slower over the last few months, which is not unexpected given the time of year that we're in. So any form of like, share, subscribes, anything like that to continue the growth of the channel throughout the next few months would be massively appreciated. So there you have it, my first vegetarian cook on the channel. As I said, this was a joy to do and I really hope you enjoyed it as well. So thanks for watching everybody. You look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.